The boomers will tell you the keys to financial success are to buckle down, stick to a budget, and never, ever treat yourself to an oat milk latte. But according to our calculations, ditching your slightly overpriced caffeine fix won't actually save you all that much over time. Look, I'm not telling you to blow your whole bank account at Starbucks. I'm just saying there are, like, way better ways to save in college. Ones that could save hundreds or thousands of dollars for future you. Here are a few of my faves. Tip one, negotiate with your college for a tuition discount. Yep, you heard me right. Your college's sticker price is a fake number made up by the school, and you can ask for a better price. Somewhere along the way, colleges decided that pricey equals prestigious. But as college prices have skyrocketed, enrollment started to shrink. In fact, enrollment is down nearly 10% from just a couple years ago. And if there's one thing colleges need to keep running, it's students. This puts you in a really good position to email your college's financial aid office and ask them to cut you a deal. Moss Financial Aid Advisors have helped thousands of students negotiate $5,000, $13,000, even $96,000 off of their college bill. Tap the link in the description to get started with a personal financial aid advisor. Tip two, quit paying bank fees. Maintenance fees, ATM fees, those dreaded overdraft fees. How did banks normalize charging you money for not having money? When it comes to big banks, overdraft fees are big business. Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo each made over a billion dollars last year charging their members overdraft fees. <laughs> now, bank fees suck for everyone but especially Gen Z bank account holders who pay eight times as many fees as boomers. The good news, making the switch to a fee-free bank is actually pretty easy. Tap the link in the description for our guide to the best banks for students. Tip three, never skip your FAFSA. I know, I know, you thought I was gonna say something about NFTs or side hustles, not a boring old financial aid application. But hear me out. The US government sets aside money to help students pay for college through grants and work study and billions of those dollars go unused each year. Over 800,000 high school seniors who skipped the FAFSA last year would have qualified for the Pell Grant, an average of $4,500 each or $18,000 over the course of four years. That's a lot of money. The best way to make sure you don't miss out on free money for school? Fill out your FAFSA ASAP after it opens every October 1st for the following academic year. So, yeah, go ahead and order that latte. And if you like this video, Make sure to like and subscribe for more college money tips from us.